Now uh, we did selection with repetition. Now we did permutation with repetition and we knew the form number of ways arrangements can be made. Suppose there are n number of items out of which p are of one kind and q are of one kind and r are of one kind and the remaining are of different kind. So we say n factorial by p factorial, q factorial, r factorial. A similar kind of situation would arise in case of combination but in such a case we have to use logically and see how we can have it. So let's take the simple example, let's take some examples here. So we have ways of selecting four letters from examination EXMTO as. So examination has 11 letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So which means out of which three of them are in pairs. So we have 2 into 3 and the remaining 5 that is EXMTO are in single. They don't, they're all individuals we can call them. Now what are the ways in which we can select? So, we, just for our understanding, we'll just club them this way, EX, M, T, O, and there are two A's, there are two I's, and there are two N's. This is the way it is. Now, what are the ways in which we could choose four letters? Now, if we could choose four letters, there are possibility that you could choose two pairs. There is one possibility. That means you're choosing two pairs out of these. So in that case, you can choose them in 3C2. It's not about, we are just selecting. It is not about arranging. Just because there is a word here, it's very told selecting. Suppose they had taken arranging, ways of arranging four letters. Then after selecting, we need to use a concept of permutation. So it could be this two pairs or one pair and two individuals which could mean we could choose one of these so that would be in three c1 ways and it could be one two three four five and either or suppose you have chosen this as a pair out of the remaining two you could choose any one you could choose the first one or second one both would be mean so that means you will be selecting another 2 out of 5 plus any one of these. So 7C2. That's possible that you may choose any one out of these ones. So it could be one pair and two individuals. Means the two individuals could be chosen out of E, X, M, T, O or one out of the one that has not been put over here or all the four could be individuals. That means you could choose one, two, three, four, five out of, we have one, two, three, four, five and one each out of these. That means five plus three, eight C4. So we could choose three C2. That means you are choosing the four letters as two pairs out of these three or you're choosing one of these pairs and four remaining two. That is, since you have chosen two pairs, two of the letters have already been chosen. The remaining two letters are chosen as individuals. Any one out of these pairs and each or and out of these. So, 5 plus 2, 7. The other possibility is you could choose all four as single ones. So, which could mean you could choose one of these, one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this. So, we have 5 plus 3, 8 possibilities out of which you choose 4. So it's 3C2 plus 3C1, 7C2, which turns out to be, this turns out to be 3. This will turn out to be 3, this will also be 3 into 7 factorial by 2 factorial into 5. And this will be 8 factorial upon 4 factorial into 4. This will turn out to be 3 plus 3 into 7 into 6, 21 plus 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial upon 4 into 3 into 2 into 4 factorial. This gets cancelled. So this will be this. So this is 70 plus 
63 plus that is 66 plus 70 that is 136 such selections are possible hence we have this is how we can select so this is a lot there is no specific formula as in case of uh, permutation as opposed to permutation here you don't have specific formula but we will choose in this way we will come across further cases wherein you are choosing and also we need to arrange them then it is a different we need to introduce a concept of even permutation over here here it is only selection this is how we have it let's take the next one ways of selecting four letters from combination so we have how how is it we have c m B, A, P are individual letters, then there are two N's, there are two I's and there are two O's. We need to choose any four, much the same way. There are three pairs, so maybe you could, the first possibility is you are choosing two pairs or one pair, so hence two are already covered and two individuals or all four are individuals so how do we have we have taken two pairs so you'll be choosing two out of the three pairs so there'll be three c2 or one pair you'll choose one out of these that is three c1 into two individual two individuals could be whatever you're not chosen as pair we have two more pairs left out of that any one plus five five plus two so you're going to choose seven c2 that is two more of them you're going to choose out of seven individuals one two three four five and one out of each out of the two pairs which you're not selected in this or four individuals so four individuals means all of them are the ones you may choose any one out of n and n any one out of y one i and i one out of o and o or out of these so out of five plus three eight you need to choose four so hence this is the way we choose and this also works out to be the same answer as we got in the previous case so this again is a logical way of considering the concept of uh, repetition of certain terms again we're using the word selecting okay further okay now we have find the number of combinations of the letters of the word college taken four together now let us see which letters over here are repeated so we have L and L being repeated and E and E being repeated. So we have C, O and G. So C, O and G we have and L and L. So we need to again choose taken four together. So either you could choose two pairs again or one pair and two individuals or four individuals so if we have two pairs that have to be chosen it will be chosen in two c2 ways that is only one way one pair will be chosen in two c1 so either of them so the remaining are one two three and one of these is chosen four so it's going to be four c2 and suppose it is four individuals each of these one two three and one of these and one of this so you need to choose four out of five so it's going to be this way so two c2 is one two c1 is two into four factorial but two factorial into factorial and this again is five into four factorial upon one into four factorial this turns out to be 6, 24 by 4, 6. So it's 1 plus 12 plus 5. That is 18 ways in which the selection can be done. Right? So among these, we have the option here as 18. So the 18 ways we can select these numbers. So let's see what we have there. Yes, we do have it as 18.